Android XR, a platform that blends augmented reality and AI through innovative glasses and headsets. These aren't just high-tech gadgets, they're designed to make technology practical and seamlessly integrated into daily life with features like real-time navigation, language, translation, and interactive tutorials. Android XR promises a fresh approach to how we live and work. But is it ready to deliver? Let's find out. Android XR is Google's latest attempt to push boundaries in wearable technology. Unlike traditional devices, it shifts computing from the confines of a screen into the space around you using Gemini 2.0, Google's most advanced AI model. The platform processes real-world inputs in real time to provide relevant, actionable insight. For example, imagine walking through a crowded city instead of fumbling with your phone for directions, your glasses display the route right in front of you adapting to your surroundings as you move or think about traveling in a foreign country where these glasses could translate signs and conversations seamlessly. The goal is simple, to make everyday tasks easier without feeling like you're interacting with tech. The Android XR platform supports two main types of devices, headsets and glasses. Headsets are built for immersive experiences like watching a game in virtual reality or exploring a 3D map of a city. They're episodic tools used for specific tasks that benefit from full immersion glasses, on the other hand, are designed for all-day use. They're lightweight, portable, and focus on enhancing day-to-day -day tasks. Whether you're navigating a new route, joining a group video call, or even learning how to hang a shelf, these glasses aim to integrate into your life without overwhelming you. They're less about flashy features and more about practical support. I'll be, what makes Android XR particularly notable is the collaboration between Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm. Each company has brought its strengths to the table. Google's expertise in software and AI, Samsung's experience in creating sleek, functional hardware, and Qualcomm's advanced processors. To ensure these devices can handle complex tasks efficiently, this partnership isn't just about creating a flashy product. It's about ensuring the technology is reliable, usable, and ready for real-world scenarios. By pooling resources, they've been able to tackle challenges like performance, design, and compatibility, which are critical for wearables to succeed. The true potential of Android XR lies in its practical applications. These glasses aren't meant to replace your phone or laptop, but to complement them by providing hands-free access to key information, for instance, while cooking. Your glasses could guide you through a recipe step-by-step, -step, adjusting instructions based on what you've already done. If you misplace your keys, the glasses could help locate them using AI-powered spatial recognition. Communication is another key focus, from group chats to work calls the glasses. Provide real-time insights and updates, ensuring you stay connected without constantly checking your phone. And for travelers, features like AR navigation and live translation make navigating unfamiliar environments less stressful. While the concept is exciting, it's important to acknowledge the challenges for one. Creating glasses that are lightweight and comfortable enough for all-day use while packing in cameras, microphones, and processors is no small feat. Current prototypes are functional, but slightly bulky, meaning there's still work to be done in terms of design. There's also the question of practicality. Will people actually want to wear these glasses daily? How intuitive will the interface be? And perhaps most importantly, how much will they cost? These are hurdles that Google and its partners will need to address before these devices become mainstream. The first product built on the Android XR platform, Samsung's Project Wuhan, is expected to launch in 2025 while it's still early days. 
This launch will be a critical test of how well these devices can transition from prototypes to practical tools. The long-term potential is promising, though, by allowing developers to create apps for the platform. Android XR could expand its use cases into areas like healthcare, education, and entertainment. It's a step toward making technology feel less intrusive and more integrated into our lives. Google's new AI glasses represent an evolution, not a revolution. They're not here to replace your existing devices or drastically change your life overnight. Instead, they offer a new way to interact with technology, one that's more natural and less tied to screens. Whether this approach will catch on remains to be seen, but it's clear that Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm are laying the groundwork for a future where wearable tech is more than just a novelty. The question isn't if this kind of technology will become part of our lives. It's when. Are AI-powered glasses the future or just another tech experiment? Let us know in the comments below. Check out our channel. We've got tons of tech info videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update.